Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I have a video today on this good Friday of a few prizes that I've won. I talked about one of them, I believe, on my last um, unboxing, prize unboxing uh, videos. And um, so I'm going to go over those two items that I have today. And then I have um, a couple other things I wanted to talk about. I actually made a list. I have it written down over here so I don't forget some of the stuff. Um, that I want to talk about. So anyway, let's get into it. Uh, first of all, um, I'm going to show you, I have my uh, little GoPro set up here on the table and I actually have my phone on so I can see what it can see. So I'll make sure I have everything in the, the viewfinder and then hopefully you guys can get a better, a uh, little bit better close-up of the stuff I'm going to show off. So anyways, um, so first of all, oh, back here behind me, you see this case. Um, I have a new drone. This is going to be cool. Um, I've taken it out with my son um, a few times already. We've taken it out, practice and testing it out, you know, flying it around and uh, seeing what we can do with it. And so uh, I'll put a little bit of video here um, inside this video of uh, my son flying it. And then I'll probably have a, another couple of videos coming out. Um, we went over to Lake Apopka. Um, last weekend I believe it was and uh, we did a little bit of sunset video and so uh, I'll see if I can get it to, to show up you know good on the on this, the camera right it showed up already on the camera it just it didn't have the true colors so I need to mess around with the color in the video editing software to get it to try to represent what we actually saw um, before I post it but um, hopefully that will be coming up this week and then um, Also, I have um, an update on the sunglasses, the Casking sunglasses, so we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit, and then that should be it. And I'm going to have a few other videos. I'm, uh, leave in the comments below um, if you guys are interested in me unboxing any um, mystery tackle box. Uh, I have outsider tackle box. I have a lucky tackle box uh, that I ordered. Um, I'm not really into the tackle box you know, openings so much, I guess. Not, not necessarily the openings, but just the whole concept of the tackle box, because, you know, some people, to some people it's kind of like Christmas, I guess. If they don't watch somebody's video who, you know, put it out as soon as they got it, you know, they like the fact that it's kind of a surprise, and uh, some of the, the lures and baits that they get might not be what they would normally purchase on their own, so they get a chance to try out different things. Um, and, and they like that, and that's okay, you know, I mean, if, if that's your thing. I, I kind of like watching the reviews on YouTube and um, reading about them in articles and vlogs and magazines, the different lures and baits, and then see how other people like them. And then I might just go specifically and buy, you know, a pack of Z-Man, you know, Shads or, you know, um, Gary Yamamoto stick baits or something like that, you know, based on, you know, how other people are doing fishing them. And especially in the area I live in. So, but anyways, I, I have I ordered a few of the boxes: um, a mystery tackle box, a, um, a lucky tackle box, and also an outsider tackle box, uh, just to see you know how they come, um, what's in them, and you know the selection of, of lures and baits, and also just y'all. You know, I was curious, but the only reason I bought these um, and the ones I bought, I think, with the mystery tackle box, I got like. I think I got the uh, the Elite box, I think is the top of the line one. And the only reason I got that was because there was, like, the first time you purchase a subscription, um, they give you some discounts sometimes, and I think I got, like, 60% off or something like that. And the same with the Outsider and the Lucky Taco boxes. I got them at greatly discounted rates, um, you know, compared to what they normally go for. So um, that's the only reason I bought them. And like I said, I'll... I'll unbox them if you want me to. Uh, just uh, leave a little comment below and tell me yay or nay on, on the unboxings of those. Uh, again, I, I think I got the first one um, last month in February. Um, actually, Mystery Taco Box and the Lucky Taco Box I got last month. I haven't really done anything with them. I've been waiting to see if I was going to do a video before I, I used any alerts or anything. Um, and then the Outsider Taco Box, I just got that one, um, I think, last week. So. Um, it's kind of new. It's a March, and um, 
you know, I figured I'd just go ahead and do a quick video on them and see if you guys like it. And um, I kind of like um, Foul Mouth Fishing's philosophy. You know, he'll do unboxings of, of the Mystery Tackle Box or whatnot. Um, but he likes to give a alternative, and he'll go to you know Academy and you know maybe Dick's. Although I don't like going to Dick's Sporting Goods because they're stance on guns, and um, he'll go to you know uh, Bass Pro Shops or Cabela's and pick up. You know he's even gone to um, we have locally here, and I don't know how you know prevalent they are throughout the U.S. Um, they have an Ollie's, which is kind of like a discount dollar store type of deal and uh, he's gotten some really nice uh, bait lures and fishing equipment from Ollie's so anyways you know he goes and he gets comparable items and um, you know he does he does really good in reviewing the lures and uh, the baits and stuff that that he talks about but anyways you know he does a comparison with what Lucky Tackle Box or Mystery Tackle Box does and shows you you know, instead of paying, you know, twenty, thirty, forty dollars for a box of six to ten lures, you know, you can get like maybe triple of uh, amount of lures for the same amount of money, um, buying them on your own and getting what you want instead of being surprised by something that you might not even want it to use. So anyways, you know, just let me uh, know below in the, the description if that's something you're interested in. Um, and we'll, you know, if it is... I'll, I'll do some and I might continue on a couple of different boxes we'll see. So anyway, so first of all, you know, I talked about the drone. Um, hopefully we'll have some good footage, um, use of that fishing and um, maybe going camping and stuff like that. Um, the other thing I was going to mention was, uh, you know, last month uh, my family bought a new camper. Uh, I believe it's like a 25 or 27 foot uh, camper. And um, we just went last weekend, uh, my son had a couple of baseball games over in Merritt Island and uh, you know we, normally we would rent a hotel or something uh, sometimes we drive back and forth because that's not really that far from where we live in Central Florida but sometimes that's stressful driving there um, trying to get there on time traffic's pretty bad sometimes um, so you know instead of the stress of all that driving back and forth and wasting the gas uh, we decided you know we'll go ahead and stay over there and um, this time, instead of staying in the hotel um, like we did last year, we um, you know, we bought the camper and we said we're going to use the camper. And that was our first camp out in our new camper. And it was a, a really fun experience. Uh, we had a couple of hiccups here and there, nothing major. But so a learning curve. If you never camped in a camper, there's a lot of things that you got to learn about, you know, as far as uh, the shore power, plugging in your power to, you know, what they have available on the campsite, their water. Um, the battery systems and all the different things involved in the camper is just completely different than what you're used to um, when you, you know, you know, for instance, what you have at your house. And then also, you know, if you're used to camping in tents, um, if you're used to camping in tents, you know, it's a lot different than that. So anyways, um, I might have some videos. I didn't get a chance to do any video um, when we went on our camping trip. Uh, last weekend but you know hopefully on some trips coming up you know, I'll do some so anyways uh, the next thing I want to talk about um, you know earlier I went um, out to get some lunch um, I'm working from home today and um, just finished up although I just got a text from somebody at work so there must be something going on but anyways um, I stopped by Goodwill I, I like to do that every once in a while and um, just check to see sometimes you get some good deals so I, I found a couple items that I thought were pretty awesome um, one of them here is um, Western Digital my passport and it says uh, for Mac and I have a, a MacBook Pro so I could use it for that um, but also um, let me show, show you the price here uh, it got it for $199 I mean that's crazy because if you look this up online, uh, I believe they sell for $69. And it's brand new. It's never, if you look at the tape there, it's never been opened. And so it's a brand new hard drive in here. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and open this thing up so you know we can be sure. We got my trusty knife here. And uh let's pop it open. Boom. So I just did that on my GoPro, so I'm gonna maybe inset some of that video. 
All right, so and so we're looking here. We got the, the hard drive, the portable hard drive, and um, it's USB three. And like I said, it says compatible um, with Apple Time Machine. Um, it's probably formatted in the Apple file system. Now that doesn't mean you can't use it with a re regular computer. You can definitely plug it into your computer and format it with you know NTFS or Win32 or whatever you know, uh, file system that you want to use it for. So I think just because it says My Passport for Mac that you're limited to just using it um, you know, on the Macintosh or whatever. So anyways, that, that, I thought that was a really cool deal. Like I said, it was $1.99. I mean, you can't beat that. Brand new, um, it sells for $69 or $59 um, online if you get it like at Best Buy or whatever. So I, you know, I could have turned around and sold that, but that, I, I need it. I'm going to use it. You can, always, you can never really have too many um, backup hard drives. And another thing I got, I thought this was pretty cool. Um, it's called the Sound Grenade. Um, it's got a 120 decibel alarm um, from RoboAlarm.com, and I paid 99 cents for this, and it's still brand new in the packaging. Um, 99 cents. I'll show it in the GoPro real quick. And it's a uh, song grenade. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, you can use this like. You know, let's say you go camping and you want to set up a perimeter and know if like somebody's coming into your camp or an animal or something is coming into your camp at night or any time during the day. Um, this will, you know, let off a pretty loud alarm and let you know when something like that happens. So it's pretty cool to have them. Like I said, for, you know, you kidding me, 99 cents. That's a steal. I don't know how much these things normally cost. I'm sure I'll probably look up, um, you know, in a little bit and see how much it was. So, but anyways, you can see. Um, so all together I bought those two items and I didn't spend a whole lot of time in there because like I said I was hungry I was taking lunch and uh, I only paid three dollars and seventeen cents for those two items so um, it was pretty good pretty good uh, deal there so anyways so that's my haul from Goodwill out of the way and I'll put that let's see if this keep that in the frame of the GoPro all right, so the next thing I want to talk about is, uh, you know, I, I got those uh, Cast King sunglasses for fishing, and um, here's the case. And I'm, I'm still liking these things. They're, they're really good. Um, these are the ones I got that are um, good for, you know, bright sunny days, helping you see into the water, and, um, you know, it's polarized and it helps you see the fish a little bit better than normal regular sunglasses. So these are, are really holding up pretty good so far and I'm liking them. Um, I don't know if you remember if anybody saw the, the last video um, where uh, it, when I opened these up they came with a little card um, and they said if you, I think it was like if you give a, a review online um, on Amazon or whatever, uh, they'll, they'll send you um, and, and this is whether or not it was a good review or not, it didn't matter, um, that they would send you another pair. So I went ahead and sent for it, and they sent me this. And it's the same box, the same case, everything's the same, only this pair. Um, when I was talking about those, I had uh, shown other models that were available by Casking on Amazon, and these were the Hiwasa, I believe is what they were called. And so these are, um, I think they're the, the brown lenses, the brown or copper. They, they don't have like a real, they have a little bit of a mirror finish, but not like as much as the other ones. In fact, and, oh, and these have blue accents on the stems and also on the nose piece. So get these other ones out real quick so I can compare them. Yeah, so if you look at these, they had more of a mirror um, finish than these. So now these are good for bright sunny days and these I believe are um, supposed to be good for overcast days and um, really being able to see um, definition and 
the water objects in the water. So um, we'll put those there. So I'm, I'm looking for, I haven't actually tried those yet. Um, I haven't gone out fishing when it's been overcast yet. So um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to those. And uh, they seem like very similar. I, these were the Hiawasa, I believe. Yeah. So anyways, pretty cool. Um, the next item I want to talk about is, uh, let's get this over here. So I had entered um, a giveaway on uh, the gentleman's uh, website, or not website. I had entered a giveaway on uh, a gentleman's YouTube channel. Uh, his YouTube channel is called Your Next Cast. And uh, he had two um, things that he was giving away, actually two groups of things he was giving away. He had a first place and a second place. I was a second place winner. And so I got these items from him. So I'll pull them out real quick. The box or the packaging name out here. So first thing um, is a, a nice uh, top order bait. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, it's like a little popper, top water popper, chug and scoop junior. So this is pretty cool. Well, that was one of, one of the items I wanted. Let me put this on the table here. Put it in the video there. Um, then he sent me um, some Kitek worms. Um, these are four inch worms. They're called, the, I think they're called the, the Sight Flash. There's eight of them. They're kind of white. And they have a, you know, glitter, like silver glitter in them. So I'll put those down here in a GoPro frame. And he sent also some uh, Z-Man Razor Shads, black, blue. Um, I believe there's one, two, three, four of them in here. So there you go. That's pretty cool. And he also sent some hooks. These are uh, some swim bait hooks, I believe, to go with. Uh, Razor shads. There's a one, two, three, four, five um, size four hooks, trocars. Really nice. And then some Gamma Katsu Finesse Weedless um, size two aught hooks. Um, and that's probably to go with the, uh, the little four inch uh, Kitek worms, I'm thinking. But I mean, really, you can use them for. Wacky rig, or um, actually, his video was on uh, the Ned rig, the one that I entered the contest from. So it was probably for Ned rigging. And then he had a, a nice little um, card. I'll put it in the GoPro here first that he sent with it. A little nice note. So, your next cast. Check out his channel. He's really cool, catches lots of bass. I really enjoy watching his videos. So, definitely check out your next cast. He's a cool dude. Yeah. So yeah. thank you very much for the opportunity to win prizes from your uh, giveaway. It was awesome. Yeah. The next thing I'm going to talk about real quick, um, and I talked a bit, again, I talked about it um, in my, not the last video, the one about the gator that I didn't really hook the gator. I, he just clamped down on my frog and held on. <laughs> you know how gators will clamp down and just hold on and you know, forget about trying to get anything out of his mouth while he's clamped down. Um, but he did end up letting go of it, and I got my frog back. I, I looked it over, I didn't really, didn't look like it had any teeth marks or anything, so I think I'd be able to fish with it. And, you know, the funny thing about that is that I had lost two lures just prior to that. I lost a, a frog, um, not, and not a really good frog, just, I was just messing around. And, um, and then I, I lost a really nice jig. I had a really nice, I think it was a Booyah jig or something like that. It was one of my favorite jigs. And um, I went to cast it on. I must not have tied my Palomar good enough because I casted it and my line didn't go anywhere, but the, the jig kept flying out into the middle of the lake. So, um, yeah, I lost that one. So um, when I went fishing with this little frog, I made sure that I tied it up really good. And as you can tell from the 
interaction with that gator, uh, you know, I had 15 pound brain that, you know, it held up pretty good. So anyways, yeah, I, I got like, I was getting ready to, normally when you get hooked or, you know, when a gator gets your bait, if he holds on to it, you don't want to fight it like that. And normally I don't, um, you know, you want to pretty much cut off and just let it go. Um, but that time I was kind of pissed off because, you know, I lost those two lures before that. And then, uh, you know, I just, I don't know, I wanted my frog. That was my favorite frog. So anyways, so the, the next one was a, um, the giveaway for the items um, that I told you I was waiting for from the Fishing Family Network. Uh, I've gone on, they have a show, I believe it's 7.30 Eastern Time on Monday nights. Um, I'll put a link again in the description. Um, I think they call it LKM Coast to Coast on YouTube, but it's the, the, the Fishing Family Network. And, you know, you get about a bunch of guys on there, 10, 15, 20, 25 people come on. And every once in a while, um, while they're goofing off with the, the um, people that they're interviewing, they, you know, they give stuff away. And it's a really fun time. Uh, they're really good guys. And um, I want a bunch of more stuff. So the first thing I want to show is I got another one of these um, Aldo Rosado pink lures really cool now Sonny monster hunt the monster hunter um, he had seen the, the last video where I talked about I was gonna fish the the one that I have here sitting in the GoPro right now but I'll show you this is the one that was autographed by Aldo Rosado for the fishing family network it's a Marty's lure made by Marty Mac and um, he's like no I don't want you fishing that one if you don't have to this you know you you want another one I'll, I'll just send you one that's not autographed so if you lose this one you know you're, you're not losing a collectible and so this is the same thing this really cool got the same kind of sparkly glittery paint job on it and with the tracker tackle hooks those those things are man they, they bite onto you and won't let go I'm telling you I got one when I took a I have another lure in this bag here that didn't have these covers on it and then I took it out of the bag and it got in my finger and it took me a while to get it out. But uh, anyway, so I got another one of those. Uh, they sent me uh, one of these uh, DNA bio baits. So those are pretty cool. Um, these are the, I believe these are five inch maybe, five or seven inch. Bio baits, so um, they look really, they do look very realistic. So I'm looking forward to uh, checking those things out. Those things are cool. And then I'll put that here. This is the thing that took me taking out last time. Um, here's another Marty Mac lore. Ah, allergies in my nose is really itchy. Sorry, but uh, this is another lipless. Crankbait, just with a gold paint job. Really cool. Trapper tackle, hook, trapper tackle hooks as well. I'm gonna fill this down in the GoPro there. And then this is the one that didn't have any hook guards on it. It's got a, this is a crankbait. This is a special one, a Marty Mac uh, Martin Lord. I don't know if I'm gonna get out of here. Oh yeah, it's hooked. It's hooked, it's hooked in this. <laughs> This stuff is amazing. These, these hooks. But, uh, let me see if I can get it out of there. Alright. Goodness. And if you hook something with these things, uh, you're, not, you're not losing it. Alright, so, anyways. So, this is a, a special LKM cup lure made for the, um, for the Fishing Family Network LKM. Um, it's a crankbait made by uh, Marty Mac, Marty's Lures. Like I said, and these uh, trapper tackle hooks, man, they, they stick on you. If you can see, um, let's see if it focuses there. Bell cam cup. And I almost stuck in my finger again. But, anyways. It's really pretty lure. So let me set that in the GoPro viewfinder there. 
And almost done. Got what else is there? Oh, so um, Monster Hunter sent me uh, his card. Uh, Huntingformonsters.com. H or M. Um, this is pretty cool. He sent me um, the card with uh, everything and a nice little handwritten letter. That was pretty cool. My ha hold on to that because you know when you get super famous. Might use that to auction off or something for charity. And of course, you know, a lot of times um, you get the cowboy coffee chew. So I got two more cans of that. So I, was, I think I was supposed to get some far out foods, but it don't matter. I mean, it's all fun, anyways. But uh, yeah, that's everything. Okay. So, really hope you enjoyed this uh, unboxing of, uh, you know, the prizes I won. Um, I'm going to try to get out and do some more fishing, uh, catch some bass on, on uh, film uh, using some of these lures, um, especially I've been wanting to get the, the ones from you, Your Next Cast. Um, I want to try doing some uh, Ned Rig, the way he uh, talked about. I have some um, Gary Yamamoto uh, Green Pumpkin Magic um, Senkos that I want to use. And uh, so I've been waiting for, for this stuff from him, and I'm going to try to do some Ned. I've not, never used the Ned Rig. Yeah, I've never used the, the Ned Rig before, so I'm interested in um, using that. I see a lot of people catching lots of bass with Ned Rig. Uh, so anyways, yeah, I had a lot of fun, and um, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Take care.